Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is Adala aka Sharkwave. Uh, today I'm gonna be taking you guys on a uh, one of my um, weapons trainings missions or trainings that I do. And in particular lately I've been working on anti-shipping. So yeah, I'm gonna take you guys on on one of these um, we're gonna blow up a bunch of uh, ships with different weapons, <coughs> and uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. All right, so master arm on. Let's get the uh, the first one is gonna be with the slammer, so let's get that warmed up. Let's get the uh, sea radar going, and then. Let's enter an orbit here while this thing gets warmed up. Alright, we got some clouds today here, we're in the Persian Gulf. And uh, so let's set up our slammers. So uh, you can see there, there's a bunch of uh, targets. Uh, it's uh, Russian Millennials and um, some civilian traffic. So let's go maybe take a look at what they look like. And we also have some of these uh, civilians uh, because I'm going to de demonstrate the use case for the SLAM ER. Uh, you can see this guy uh, should be near another one and uh, the idea is that we're going to do a precision attack on these uh, ships so let's get this thing set up mode got four slammers get all these to TOO flight um, yeah medium is fine E fuse instant let's get the uh, Weapon set up, so station 8, station 2, station 7, and station 3. Those are all set, we have about 20 seconds for our slammer to be ready, and uh, should be good to go. Actually, one more thing. Um, let's go back to station eight. Um, go to UFC distance at which this thing arms. We'll put 20. Enter. Station two, 20. Station seven, 20. Station three, 20. Let's go back to the store page, check that our distances are 20 and they are perfect so we're all good to go and we are back on bearing and we can see that our slammer is ready so <coughs> just to show you guys so uh, since I've set up the mission I know what's going on here but um, essentially uh, I guess let me show you in the flare I'm gonna lock up these two targets here right next to each other Lock up this target. He's 30 miles away. Um, yeah, I probably won't do that, but I guess I could do the flare here. As you guys can see, that is a freighter. And we don't want to hit that thing, so we're going to actually hit the guy that's right next to him, right here. Click that. This guy, it's hard to see because there is a bunch of clouds, but uh, trust me, it's a millennium. So we're good to go. We are 26 miles from the target, and let's shoot this thing. Uh, trim her out. <laughs> For 
Perfect. Back to paramedic altitude. Alrighty, so our missile is on the way and you can see that it's this ship right here, Millennia, and there's actually uh, another civilian next to it. But let's uh, get on to channel 8, which is the first... Um, oh, and we already have it. So let's go here. And uh, go ahead and uh, zoom in. And we're going to guide this baby in towards this ship. So the slammer has INS GPS guidance to a specific coordinate and then you have to guide it in manually and eventually it will lock through the IR. So uh, looks like it's uh, pretty good so far. Oops. So you can see on the left there's a tanker and uh, our missile is actually heading to the right. Alright, let's uh, keep an eye on this guy. We're at 6 miles out and hopefully this thing will lock. Looks like it's locked so we don't have to do anything anymore. That's it. Missile's on the way. There's a tanker on the left. You can see that giant tanker. These ships are pretty close uh, together. And uh, a harpoon might have gone for the uh, the tanker. But uh, since we're able to guide this guy, this guy is going to get hit. So that demonstrates uh, the usage of the um, slammer. Alright guys, welcome back. Uh, we are now in a Harpoon aircraft. So let's get our barometric altitude going. And... Uh, get our aircraft set up with the Harpoon. We have four Harpoons. And uh, master ground, air to ground on. Let's get the sea radar going. And we're gonna veer to the right. And you, you will notice that um, we're gonna try to hit um, one, another two ships that are close to each other. But this time. Um, So the flight is medium, BOL, skim, no we don't want it to skim, so um, medium is fine, terminal we want to pop up, step, pop, step, pop, step, pop. Alrighty, this thing is going to start um, at zero, so it's going to start looking right away for this uh, these targets. Um, actually what we can do, yeah we're gonna use the range in bearing mode and see how that does with the harpoon and check that we are on autopilot and we're not, alright. So let's go ahead and try to see if our flur will show us these targets. Um, zoom in. Alright, so that's a tanker. We ID'd it. Uh, it's 29 miles away. So the one next to it should be a baddie. And in fact it is. There's a millennia. So, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to attack with a harpoon. If for some reason the millennials like to shoot the harpoons down, so we might have to shoot it more than once. But um, let's go to mode, uh, range and bearing, mode, range and bearing, mode, range and bearing, 
mode range of merit. We'll go for station eight. Twenty-five miles out. And let's go for it. Perfect, so we have our harpoon away, and it's all automated at this point, we have no control over it, so let's see if this harpoon will actually hit the interior target, which is 20 miles away, let's go watch it, so it looks like it's already homing in on something. Let me go and uh, reduce the sound real quick. So it's definitely tracking something, but uh, the question is, is it tracking the ship on the left or the ship on the right? It looks to be tracking the right ship. Um, there's the giant um, container ship that's right next to it, so that's pretty good. So it looks like range and bearing mode is a bit more uh, accurate. It's going right past it. So it looks like the uh, harpoon might actually... working. Let's go to F10 real quick. Oh, it just passed this guy here, okay. So it just passed this guy, ignored it, which is good. There's a container ship on the right. So yeah, looks like it's tracking really well. It's really cool. So maybe my bad, I thought the uh, harpoons were a lot uh, more dangerous, um, but they must be in BOL mode. Bearing only, no range. Yeah, this guy looks like he's gonna eat it. The thing is, sometimes these millennias, uh, if you attack them from certain directions and with certain missiles, there's a pop-up. They will shoot down the harpoons, so... Let's see if this one gets dropped down. Nope. No, we'll fine. Boom. And there is the other ship, and it's safe, so... And there is our ship, visually ID'd as down. It's pretty amazing. Alrighty, let's uh, unlock that and see what else we can get here. Alright, now the rest of this I'm not exactly sure, so let's try to go for this guy. Yep, <laughs> good thing we ID'd it. Uh, we, won't, we don't want to do that. Let's go for this guy here. That's the one. Alright, let's try a um, turning towards it. And this time we're going to use BOL mode. So this thing is about 18 miles away. So we're going to shoot uh, this guy here in BOL mode. It's going to start searching right away, which is not ideal, but... Um, and uh, we're going to shoot it at uh, roughly uh, 308. So let's go ahead and do that. 308, enter. And, uh, yeah, let's hope it doesn't hit that other guy. Weapon. Weapon away. So. 
looks like there's some clouds. Looks like we lost lock as well. Now let's trim her out again. I think it's pretty close. So let's trim this guy out. All right, let's go look. All right, looks like it is missed to the the one on the left there. So looks like it's doing the right thing. Okay, I'm not sure what's happening with the flare. thing is about uh, five miles out. Yep, flare is not quite working for some reason. Oh, let's relock it. I guess um, the BOL mode uh, kind of unlocks the target, so let's see if this thing works. There's the uh, the tanker on the left. Boom. When you destroyed. Mm, looks like it worked. Let's go uh, see. This is the other target that we could have hit by mistake. So good thing it didn't work. That didn't happen. So. There's our uh, Alenia sinking. Some good stuff. Good stuff. Go for this guy, alright? Can't see him through the clouds, but uh, let's go with uh, a range and bearing mode. Oh, he's definitely a civilian. Alright, let's not kill that guy. How about this guy? So, the, the, I was gonna say, the good thing about our poons is that... Uh, Alright, there's a baddie. So this guy is 9 kilometers away. So, boom. Just snapshot. He's already tracking. Alright, let's uh, uh, watch this guy go. So yeah, I mean, it's if it's not super crowded, I guess uh, the harpoons are not the end of the world. Uh, they will do their job. Looks like this guy is already tracking. Uh, target is only... Uh, 2.4 Oh, this one is probably going to get shut down for sure though Yep That is definitely going to get shut down What? Alright So unfortunately, that's what happens when uh, you come in from the side Alright, there we go Altitude. Altitude. Let's see if we'll shoot it at 3 miles Not track. Yep, I guess that's a bit too close range for the harpoon. Anyways, we get the point. Let's go ahead and switch to uh, another type of weapon then. Alright, folks, welcome back. Um, I have respawned on the uh, with AGM 84s this time. Let's go to uh, CCIP. Nose, instant, switch to sea radar. Let's go hit some stuff.
get this uh, guy on the floor. Let's get this guy locked up. Zoom in. Yep, it's a baddie, 40 miles. So, what I've been practicing with the uh, bombs is, uh, well, first of all, we need to change this thing. To increase accuracy, what I've been doing is I go here to GPS. And, um, yeah. Alright, uh, so we're at, uh, in the clouds, so I guess uh, this demonstrates uh, the, useful, the usefulness of the radar. <laughs> Let's uh, pick up some speed here. So we're good to go. 11 miles out. Pick up some speed. So in the clouds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dive without even knowing where the target is really. Uh, I'm going to dive at about 7 miles. And the other thing we can see is the bearing. This thing is a 318. So we need to go a bit left. And the uh, technique that I've found is that you basically go left until the little target thing is uh, on 318 and then you're essentially behind it. And you're like uh, one of those World War II bombers, right? And we're very slow. Holy shit. Alright, you see how the diamond right now is... I'm just gotta move it till the diamond is... Uh, basically on uh, 318 let's try it out 310, nope, a bit more oop, we're at 5% we're, okay, no, we gotta get committed here there it is so now, um, I'm gonna deselect so I can go back to CCIP and we're gonna try to hit this guy. Try to come from behind. I'm gonna try one bomb to see if we can be accurate enough. Altitude. Altitude. Yep, that's not gonna hit. something to it but it's just splash damage so also good practice to uh, evade uh, close-in weapon systems like that all right let's give it another shot coming from behind of course, you know, like, if you throw two bombs at it, it's much easier. Alright, you can see the wake. These things are traveling about 17 knots. I'm gonna come around. Let's see if we can get it this time. Oh, I hate when track IR does things like that. I 
Alright, back for the second run. Feel a bit of like a dive bomber from World War II. Alright, I just <laughs> I just pickled all of them. This is definitely gonna hit the What? That was destroyed, alright. <laughs> I was gonna say. Um I guess that's uh the that's one way to do it, right? Um Altitude. It's good to practice with one Altitude. bomb and I, I have done it. I have done it with one bomb, but uh, you know, when you're gonna get the job done, sometimes you're just gonna drop more than one bomb. Energy is going to the bottom. Goodbye. Alright, well, that's how. Uh, CCIP, pretty cool. I mean, it uh, takes some time to get used to uh, the accuracy and all that. So, all right, let's switch out to something else. All right, guys, welcome back. And we are now in a F-18 with um, GBU 24s. So, let's go air to ground, GBU. Mode SL step mode. Actually, looks like they're all SL, so infuse will do tail. I think they're all good. Let's get um, our flur. Code is 1688. Step 1688. Step 1688. Enter. Step 1688. Enter. Right, we got all that. Quantity 1. Mode is. Yeah. I think we're all good. GPUs are ready to go. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can get the radar and the flare going here. That will be cool. So, got the radar. I guess we don't need this store page anymore, so why don't we put the flare here? And the radar there. Make sure we get our laser armed. And let's go for this guy over here. Zoom in. There we go. It's a baddie. Target 16 miles out. Let's get speed and altitude. I guess we'll do a test through the uh, clouds. See if uh, so. Radar. I wonder if it's gonna keep track of it. Looks like it is. Sometimes what I found, uh, I think with the walleye and stuff, um, that it doesn't keep track. You have to switch from the radar to the FLIR. Thirty-five seconds to maximum range, let's keep going full burner. Get some altitude. Nine seconds, looks like it's tracking fine. 
there are some clouds, so we'll test if that works. Alright, here we go. Put it on the line. And... Pickle. Let's um, go ahead and trim this bad boy out. Those things are very heavy. Very heavy. Looks like we have a uh, good lazing. It's tracking. Uh oh. No good. No bueno. I think it lost uh, the radar lock. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Yeah, still, still lazing. That's good. Boom! <laughs> yeah, I think it lost the uh, radar lock there, and so I had to switch to uh, to something else. Makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. Uh, can't tell. Okay, let's go for you. It's gotta be clouds. Yeah, there's clouds. Hard to ID. Can't tell. What the hell is this thing pointing at? Let's do this. Let's uh, reset that thing. Alright. There we go. Finally got something working. Rain laser on, lasers on. Let's go. We're in range. Come on. Get on there. Get on there. And pickle. Look, it's tracking. Just make sure we don't lose that laser. Uh... Boom! All right. Well, that's LGBs. Moving on. Moving on. Choose a uh, good old walleye. It'll be the last one. Alright, welcome back. We're in the walleye equipped uh, Hornet. So let's get set up. Air to ground. Walleye data link on. Air to ground. Sea radar. Alright, we got targets. Alright, while I. Main thing we need to do here is. Um, what was your UFC? Yeah. Click on the walleye. That is station 8, it's this guy. Let's get the flare on this guy. Let's choose a target. Let's go for the one that's right in front of us. Let's see what it's got. 32 miles. Alright. Hard to see what it is. 
Oh, that's a freighter. No good. How uh, about this guy right here? Can you see? That is also a freighter. Okay, how about this guy? What are you? Oh yeah, you're a body. You are a baddie. Let's turn. Get some uh, speed going. Maybe some altitude as well. So, 26. Uh, let's get the, this thing to see if we can... Uh, radar a walleye so we're all good it's got some sort of a lock so here you can see uh, we're using the radar we could be using also the FLIR to help the walleye same thing let's gain altitude um, the higher we go the more range on this guy See that uh, TTMR? It's gonna give you a bit more range. And the interesting thing is, there's clouds. All right, let's level off here. So 17 miles out, and we're gonna be able to deploy this thing. By the way, they look like this. Alright, ready to go and pickle. Let's see if we can um, trim us up. There's clouds everywhere, so not ideal for a TV guided weapon. Um, not ideal at all. But we have a radar lock. Our radar should be hopefully guiding it in the rough direction. So let's see what happens. We're 10 miles from the target. Let's go look at the thing. It's going to go through some clouds. So the question is. The flare shows us that we're still locked on. This thing is hard to see. It's uh, old technology. There we go. We see it. It's locked on. And the great thing about the, wa the walleye, you can actually move it. But it is it does have a block, so, so we don't have to. But um, it's a great little fun weapon. Powerful too. Oh, we we lost the um, the radar lock, but we did not lose the walleye lock. So ha. Huh. So lesson learned with radar locking: make sure that uh, see the flare actually is linked to the radar. Hello, and kaboom. And there it is, folks. It's so much fun in the Hornet, uh, dealing with all these systems. Um, so yeah, the, the radar looks like it's... The flare was locked to, to the radar. When you lost the radar lock, you know, obviously the flare did its own thing. And so was the walleye, but the walleye was already locked, so... Yeah, it's just a handoff. Freaking awesome. That's all I gotta say. It's been fun. Alright guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed. Five ways to kill uh, a millennia. And, uh... Yeah, I guess I was say um, I was surprised with the harpoons. I thought we were gonna be killing a lot more civilians. But we didn't, so... Hell yeah. 
So I guess we'll see you on the next one, guys. Guys, I thought I'd do another bonus one. I had one more wall I left. So might as well, huh? I guess this time uh, what I'll do is I'll get the flare. So once the radar lock goes, so what I'm gonna do is get the flare to do its own lock. There we go. Uh, this will just prove that. Um, you know, we're not, we won't lose the radar lock now because the floor is independent of it. Still tracking, looking good. Sorry about that. Boom. We lose the data link, but we still have the, the flur. You know, we have no radar. So cool. And um, yeah, the flur is a lot looks a lot nicer here on this display. Alright guys, that was a little bonus walleye. See you in the next one. Thanks.